Hey guys, it's Bro you Whack. Welcome back to another top five video where we look at every single hero, we pick out the best skins, and we rank them, and I cry every week. Why? I think you know why by now. It's not because of the video. It's not because of who we're doing. It's just because of who lost. I feel bad for anyone that tunes into the series after this series is over because why is they getting so mad that they're, why, what's this voting thing? They just don't understand the pain I go through when trying to get Soldier to win, trying to hint, hey, you know, <laughs> Soldier has a one in like, you know, like 10 weeks. How about we vote for Soldier, you know? Lucky for me though, I get a break from some of y'all because next week for Saturday, which is when I normally bring the top five videos, I'm not gonna be doing whoever wins for next week. Whoever is on the poll for this week is not gonna be going up for next week because the Halloween event is gonna be taking place and I plan on doing a top five video for the top five best 2018 Halloween skins. Hopefully the skins are good enough to where I can post the top five video. I'm just doing this in preparation because, well, I did this for the Summer Games event, and I don't want some of y'all wondering, oh, oh, now you're scared. Now you're scared that Soldier is a winning. Now you're scared to post the top. I'm not scared of nothing! I promise I'm not actually mad, okay? I'm, I'm not that upset. But last week, I had you guys vote between Soldier and Junkrat. You can tell who won. Junkrat is going to be taking today's top five video. But, like I do for every top five video, except for this time, it's not going to be voting for next week's top five video. It's going to be voting for two weeks after next. Vote between Soldier and Reinhardt. Why did I choose Reinhardt? Reinhardt, I figured now would be a good time. I want to do Orisa versus Reinhardt for the skins because that would be so cute. Two shield heroes, two anchor tanks. No. Y'all have to ruin it. But now let's move on to Junkrat. As terms of his skins, I was looking forward to this video, but I had a skin in mind that was going to be number one no matter what. And then I realized, wait, there's actually a, a quite a few good Junkrat skins. Junkrat has a solid lineup of skins. It's something like Farah, a lot of good epics, amazing good lineup of legendaries, enough to make an exciting top five video. So here we go. Beginning our list is a skin that you're gonna be wondering why I put low on the list. And I'm wondering myself why I put it so low on the list. And this is gonna be Cricket. Oh, bro, you act. Wasn't this your skin idea? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for bringing that up. Thank you for taking all credibility away from me whenever it comes to skin ideas. Yes, the cricket skin was an idea that I thought of before that whole Summer Games event came about. I was listing off some skin ideas for heroes that I would love to see. One of those heroes was being Junkrat. Why? Because in Australia, cricket is a very popular sport. So I thought, oh, this would be an amazing skin. And lo and behold, they brought the cricket skin. So why isn't it higher? I don't know. I cannot tell you why. I fell out of love with this skin. Yes, it's a skin idea that I thought of. No, they didn't make the skin because of me, although I would like to think that. I just, they, it's literally a Cricket Junkrat skin. What else would you want? I just don't like it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I feel like I can't end this clip with saying that. Obviously, like, yeah, I appreciate the fact that, hey, an idea that I thought of is in the video game. Like, obviously, Jeff Kaplan didn't come to my house and be like, hey, bro, you rock, what are you thinking for his Junkrat skin? I didn't tell him Cricket. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh my god, it's my idea. And then I played with it, and then I used it, and then I looked at it and be like, he's just not cute, man. He's not cute. I don't know. Like, I can't explain it. I'm just trying to find reasons I can't explain. But now let's move on to an actual skin that I like that I somewhat use on a consistent basis. At number four, it is going to be an epic skin called Toasted. His hair. His hair, my boys, is what sells me on this skin, okay? You look at Overwatch League Grey, normal hair. You look at Firework, normal hair. You look at Toasted, boom! Orange tips. He looks like he's out of NSYNC or Backstreet Boys back in the 90s with those frosted tips. Oh, he's stunting on them hoes, bruh. I feel like I'm going too crazy. I gotta just whew, calm down there. I'm walling out from that Cricket skin skill. So Toasted, yes, it's an epic skin. Yes, it's above Cricket. Why? Well, it actually fits Junkrat's personality. Junkrat is, uh, would you consider him a pyromaniac? He really likes explosion, he likes fire, and it definitely is shown in this skin. Because now, instead of just his top portion of his face being all ashed up, now his whole entire body is toasted, hence the name of the skin, because of all the bombs that he's been exploding in his times of wearing this outfit. And his hair is on extra crisp mode, bruh. He went to Subway and said, hey, can I get a sandwich with bacon, egg, and cheese? Love that. That sandwich and uh, can I get it extra toasted well instead of getting extra toasted it caused the whole place to get on fire why because he 
lit the place on fire. I don't know why. I'm just trying to make some stupid jokes. I love toasted. I just like it. <laughs> but now we're already at the middle of our list of the top five best Junkrat skins. And this next skin is another skin that I feel like I'm going to fall out of love with. Not because it's ugly, just, I don't know. I feel like the pirate concept is kind of overdone at this point. And this is going to be belligerent. Belligerent? Be it's belligerent, right? Belligerent. Either way, this is the pirate rendition of what Junkrat would look like if he was a pirate. Now, I did mention before that the pirate concept is kind of overdone. I'm not saying that it's a bad idea. I'm just saying we have a lot of pirate skins in Overwatch. We have the Honest skin, we have the Raw Dog skin, now we have the Junkrat skin. But at least with this one, he, he definitely looks like his own kind of pirate. And it makes sense too, because Junkrat has a peg leg in his normal skin. Well, they replaced his peg leg with not just a normal peg leg, but literally a pirate face skull with a hook. As his peg leg. Normally the hook would be on his arm, which is what I assume what they, they would do because Junkrat also has a prosthetic arm, no? They just made it wood. <laughs> but one thing I gotta point out that I can't ignore anymore after looking at this skin for this whole entire clip is the balls are constantly moving. Not, not the bombs, the bombs, but like... <laughs> You know what they really looking like, bruh. <laughs> like, he's not even swinging around. Why do they continue to... S a anyway, this is a good skin, okay? That's why it's number three. It's not the greatest, but it's a Junkrat Pirate skin. I feel like I'm gonna say that a lot for a lot of Junkrat skins. Like, this is what you come to expect. A Cricket Junkrat skin. A Pirate Junkrat skin. But especially this one. But what I especially love, too, besides the... <laughs> <laughs> swinging bombs is his tire. I feel like I haven't been talking about his tire or any of his accessories for that matter, but his tire have so many pirate aspects that maybe you want to put it higher on the list just because of the pirate map, also the pirate swords, the compass, the pirate skull. So much of piratey themes are all built into his tire. So yeah, there's the Junkrat skin itself, but also his tire, which isn't done enough for his skins, unless you're looking at number two. And then number two best Junkrat skin is none other than the winter event skin, which is gonna be Beatrat. I love everything about the skin, but the reason why, the only reason why it's at number two is because it's not a classic skin. We'll talk more about that concept when we get to number one, but everything about the skin, I love. I love the tire, I love the attire, get, get a tire and attire. That was bad. <laughs> but I especially love when this skin came out because if you guys don't know how the world works in terms of seasons, you would not know the Northern Hemisphere is completely different than the Southern Hemisphere. And oftentimes than not, people that are living in Australia are called backwards or just living backwards. When it's wintertime, it's summertime. When it's summertime, it's wintertime in Australia. And of course, this came out in the Christmas time event and Blizzard's headquartered in North America, which is wintertime in the Christmas event. But in Australia, it's summertime. Summertime. So what did they do for a favorite Australian hero? They gave him summer attire. I just like explaining that concept for the skin because it makes me seem more smarter than I actually am. But going back to the skin, I love the tiny little details that you seem to always miss every single time you look at the skin. I love the tan lines that he got from wearing his grenade pack or his grenade vest or whatnot. His shark leg along with his shark tooth necklace that every single nine-year-old tourist gets. I love the visor, sunglass, and sunscreen combo. But the number one thing that I especially love after all those things that I love, I love the rubber ducky tube on his back. It's his tire, bruh. That is so adorable. <laughs> Junkrat is underrated for the most charismatic hero in Overwatch. I feel like Reinhardt often gets that trophy because he's always shouting. He has some of the best voice lines and he was also one of the only heroes that could sing on the new Busan map. But Junkrat especially it has so much charisma to him and it's especially shown in this skin with all the little details and also the rubber ducky. So that's why I love this skin. It really portrays his more outgoing spirit, his more just jittery spirit. He's all over the place. It kind of reminds me of me, how I'm always so hyper, how I'm just naturally all over the place. I just love Junkrat, man. <laughs> but it's not his best skin. I, and I want to put this at number one, but it's not a classic skin. And here we go for the number one Junkrat skin, and this is going to be Dr. Junkenstein. You probably knew this was going to be the number one skin, all right? Let's be honest. Why? It's the most classic 
Overwatch skin of all time. Overwatch is a game that hasn't been out for too long, well compared to most video games it has almost two and a half years now, and this was one of the greatest Overwatch skins to ever come to the game, and still to this day, it's one of the greatest skins that you can ever purchase for only now a thousand credits, and with the Halloween event coming around, I gotta remind you guys that if you do not have this skin, please get it because it's perfect. A lot of my videos I talk about skin ideas for heroes, and I guarantee you if this skin wouldn't have came out, I would have suggested a Dr. Frankenstein skin for one of these heroes, but I think for Junkrat, it is perfect. No other hero should have received a Dr. Junkenstein skin other than Junkrat because he fits the, the personality of Dr. Junkenstein perfectly. Out of all the movies that I've seen, I've actually seen the old school Frankenstein movies, and of course the Doctor is crazy. He has wild ideas, and he just wants to make this monster, and that's exactly what Junkrat is. He's crazy, he's charismatic, like I keep just repeating over and over again, and they both fit each other perfectly. Along with the concept being perfect, every single nook and cranny of the skin is well executed. The, the little glass tubes with the blue liquid or whatever, it looks like a Fortnite potion replacing his grenades. The tie with the electricity going throughout those little, I don't know what you would call it, but that's amazing too. His face with the glasses and the crazy white hair is amazing as well. Everything about this skin is what you would want from a classic Halloween skin. So yes, Dr. Junkenstein is going to be Junkrat's number one skin. I love the art style, I love the concept, and I especially love all the things he shouts in correlation of the Dr. Junkenstein's game mode, like, get ready for a shock or whatnot. I, I gotta stop right there. I can go on for days about this skin. I was so sad when I didn't get it or at least play the game mode, so when it came in 2017, I got this right away. But anyway, guys, I want you guys to comment down below what your favorite Junkrat skin is. There's a big portion of Junkrat mains that I feel like even no when Dr. Jungenstein is a classic skin, the favorite one is going to be maybe Beach Rat, maybe Cricket. Just let me know. So anyway, guys, I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in two weeks for the top five. <laughs> for the top five Reinhardt skins. I love you guys, and bye.